Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. I'm excited to vlog today. We have some stuff planned, but we're gonna first start off with an outfit of the day. I look kind of bald with my hair like this. My hair is a tad bit greasy, so I just slicked it back and did like a little bun. From the front, I feel like I look a little bit bald. <laughs> Whenever I pull my hair back, I feel like I look like bald, but it's greasy and it needs a hair wash. Should have washed it yesterday, but I went to a hot Pilates class and it was like a cardio class and the room was like 95 degrees and I definitely got very sweaty and I should have washed my hair, but I also have a heated Pilates class tomorrow too, so I'm like, I might as well wait and let my hair just be really greasy and just slick it back. But let's do a little outfit of the day today. I moved this mirror into the dining room and I love it in here. The lighting is great for taking like pictures and this one I got from Amazon. I do have it linked to my storefronts, but I am just dressed cozy today. It's still very chilly out. So I have this sweater from Altered State. I think it's super pretty. The dogs have kind of ripped it though with their nails. These sweaters are not the best when you have puppies climbing all over you. And then these jeans are just from Hollister. They just have the little crisscross design right there. And they are super comfy. Very, very comfy jeans. I've had these for like a couple years too. So Easter is this weekend and I put together a little Easter basket for my boyfriend's niece. I just kept seeing the cutest little girl stuff and Easter stuff so I decided to put her together. Just a little something because she's adorable and I also really love his family. So I got this little peep stuffed animal and then this Peep Stanley cup. It's not Stanley, but it looks like one, honestly. It's just like a big cup. Thought that was so cute. And then this, I put a little chocolate egg in here, a little Pez dispenser, and then just some candies and some chapsticks. So just a little something for me. I just thought this was so much fun to make and I cannot wait to have a kids one day myself. Which speaking of, I need to get the girls like some Easter outfits and get some photos. I know I have two bunny ears, but now I have three dogs. So I like to put them all in matching, which I am going to go to the store today. So maybe we'll see if they have anything cute because I love getting group photos of them for the holidays because they are my children. Hershey's taking a little daytime nap. If you guys have not seen me post about these beds, these are seriously the best dog beds ever. I get them on Amazon and I do have them linked as well, but they're supposed to help dogs and cats with anxiety or just because look how comfy they look. It's a donut. It's literally a fluffy donut and they love them. They all sleep together in them and I believe this is the medium and that's the large so the small size must be really small like for cats toffee's pretty small though like i feel like a cat would be bigger than toffee hi pretty girl hi baby are you all cozied up my cutie pie <laughs> mochi is just ready to play <laughs> you know she doesn't like laying down <laughs> so i'm just eating a little bit of my leftover spaghetti squash this stuff is so so good. I can share the recipe. I'm eating it cold right now. It's literally so good. You guys, I think I just found out the best combo for iced coffee at home. So I tried out this Stoke Cold Brew Coffee for the first time. This was $6 at the Dollar General. I know I've seen it at like lots of stores though. And then I got the Cinnabon Delight Creamer also at Dollar General. Wow, amazing combo. I put it in this little taco cup. Isn't this so cute? Because then it makes it feel like I went and bought it at like Starbucks. Coffee just tastes so much better when it's in a cute little cup. If it looks like it's from a coffee shop, then it's going to taste better. I don't know what it is. Especially with a glass straw. I love drinking my iced coffee with a glass straw because then it's like cold on your lips. Mm. Mm. I'm going to like chug this before I even leave the house. So for the past few months, I've been really religiously taking all my vitamins and I can tell such a difference in my energy and just my health in general. So it can be really hard at remembering to take your vitamins and knowing which vitamins to even take. So the brand that has been helping me remember to take my vitamins every day, especially the vitamins that I actually need, is this brand called Care Of. So this brand is super cool because all the vitamins that you need to take daily
daily they put in an individual pack for you with all of them so they make it pretty impossible to forget to take your vitamins so i never really knew what vitamins i needed to add to my diet until i took the quiz on care of you answer a bunch of questions about your health and what your goals are for example like how many times a week do you eat vegetables and i said like not often do you feel tired in the morning even after getting lots of sleep like questions like that and it told me exactly what vitamins i needed so i've been taking daily collagen for my skin omega-3 fish oil probiotic blend B complex and prenatals with the prenatals I definitely have noticed my hair has been growing like crazy and same with my nails my nails are so strong and growing so fast also with taking a probiotic every day I've noticed being less bloated I definitely have a very sensitive stomach with the foods I eat and with taking that I've definitely noticed a positive difference care of offers a curated set of products that are designed to work with research-backed ingredients and optimal doses care of makes taking your vitamins on the go so convenient with individual daily packs it's so perfect for a busy routine you could just throw them in your purse gym bag lunch box and you're ready to go and I love all the vitamins come organized in this little tower you can put this anywhere like your bathroom or your desk I keep mine in the kitchen so every morning when I wake up and go to the kitchen I know to take my vitamins right away so I'll have the link down below so you can start and take the quiz and you can use my code Steph vlogs for 50% off subscription items in your first order thank you care of for sponsoring today's video so here are my returns I have this shirt from American Eagle I just need a smaller size because it's a bodysuit my torso is pretty short so it like is too wrinkly and like saggy at the bottom so I have to get a new size in that and then I got this from PacSun it's a little golf dress I need a different size in this as well. I still love it though, so I ordered a new size online. These bathing suits from Target, I got the wrong sizes, and I just don't like them at all. Like You can see the padding through this tan one, and I'm just not a fan. And then these are both Amazon returns. That is a dress. It's way too long on me for being short, and it's a lot brighter than I thought. I thought it was more like tan, kind of like the Louis Vuitton design, but yeah, I'm not really too crazy about that. And then I got this little ponytail. It's like a braided ponytail. And it's a lot longer than what I expected. That's how long it would be. It's also a little bit dark too. So we are returning this thing. <laughs> Almost left the house without my return bag. Does anyone else do that a little too often? I'll leave. And then as I'm like driving out of the driveway, I realize, oh wait, my returns. Why I'm even going out. And about. <laughs> Isn't this bag adorable? All right, let's hit the mall. Okay, guys, we are back from getting some errands done. So I made my returns, and then I also bought some stuff. Who else has that, has that issue? When you go and return something, you end up buying something. So let me show you guys. Just a couple things. I did need a couple new things for summer. So I returned this golf outfit from Aerie, and then I ended up exchanging and buying this little skirt to go over your swimsuit. How cute is that? So cute. So then I ended up having to spend $6 on this, but hey, I got it for six bucks. I think that's so cute. And you could tell it's like really good quality compared to like sheen cover-ups, which are where lots of my cover-ups are from. So I got that and then I got that same shirt in a smaller size. So I got it in that color and then I also got it in this color which i thought was really pretty it's like an oatmeal so great like everyday shirt for summer and then i did this little tank top again it's a bodysuit all of these are like bodysuits which aren't like my favorite but also i do like them because then i feel like it just like tucks you all in and like snatches you so it's just this black tank with like some buttons so simple you guys know me i like my my stuff simple and then I just got this gray top. And then I did get some groceries at Target. So it was two bags of tostada, tostada, tostitos for $8, which is crazy. Like, just for some chips. Like, these bags are half, half empty. But, yeah, these I always use for dips that I'm making or like if I get Chipotle or anything like that because Chipotle doesn't give me many chips either. I always finish that bag of chips so quickly. So, got some chips. 
I needed a new straightener. I've had the same straightener for like six months, or I mean years. I've had the same straightener for like six years or longer, honestly. So I've been needing to get a new one. I looked at Sephora the other day. I didn't see anything. So I got this Chi original digital straightener. I don't know. I like the color. And I also really liked this feature it had. One hour auto shut off for safety. I like that feature a lot. So that's kind of what caught my eye. And it has like no ridges on it too. So you can do little curls or waves, whatever. But I really like that auto shut off because sometimes I do forget to turn things off. I've gotten a lot better at it. I haven't noticed myself doing it lately. But sometimes it can happen. And yeah, I like that. I got myself these re-wetting eye drops. I needed more contact solution. That's why I went to Target. Well, I had my return and then I needed these. And then I got some panko. Great for chicken dinners. And I'm also using it, I believe, for the recipe I'm making today. I got this protein pasta. I've never tried it before, but wanted to give it a try. And then I needed some more eggs the essentials and then I needed some buffalo sauce for this recipe I'm gonna be making today making these like chicken meatballs for girls night and making like a little appetizer so I'm gonna try and make this new recipe I've never made and I also needed apple cider vinegar for that recipe which I have never bought this before I had no clue where it was in the store and I used the Target app and it like told me what aisle which is so handy I don't know if you guys ever can't find anything look on the app of whatever store you're in and usually it tells you what aisle so that's how I found this but this is in lots of recipes I make and I usually just skip over this step because I never have it but now I have it so and the last bag of stuff I got some sausage I'm always putting sausage in like everything my spaghetti squash I add the sausage to it this one is really good I love this brand and then we got some ground turkey so the meatballs I'm making it's ground chicken but I could not find that I don't think Target had it at all Target I don't usually like getting all my groceries from because I do feel like they never have the stuff I need at least at my Target their meat selection is super small it's like half of an aisle so I got ground turkey instead I feel like that'll taste pretty much the same I got some heavy whipping cream that's always essentials I buy and then I got some pineapple which that is what is leaking everywhere I was wondering why everything was wet I was hoping it wasn't from like the meat and then I just got some chicken to do some chicken dinner this week. Oh, I should have got lemons. That's okay. I love making the Outback or Longhorn Parmesan crusted chicken at home. It's like my own recipe. I kind of just like came up with it on my own. But simple. Just like panko, Italian, Parmesan. And then you make like an Alfredo sauce on top. And then you do some lemon juice in there. And it makes it taste just like the Longhorn one, which is so delicious. It tastes better, honestly. But I don't think I have any lemons. Well, that's okay. I can make it without that. Like sauce on top. Because panko crusted chicken, like pan fried, so good and juicy. And then last but not least, I got this yogurt. My friend says how amazing this yogurt is. And it's like packed with protein. And it keeps her really full. And she eats it as a snack. And then she's like good. So I thought to try this out. That is my haul from Target. So let's get cooking these meatballs. They're called firecracker chicken meatballs but we're doing turkey so firecracker meatballs okay i'm snacking on this yogurt with the pineapple this yogurt's delicious what's it called oikos oikos really good yogurt Mm-hmm. usually i need like granola and like a ton of stuff in my yogurt because i don't really like the taste but this one's actually really good like it tastes like a dessert but anywho, we gotta make these meatballs. I have a meeting at four o'clock, it's 3.32. So I wanna get these meatballs made and in the oven, and then I can throw them in the crock pot after. Also shout out to my boyfriend for these beautiful Easter flowers. They're so pretty, I love them. All right, so in a bowl, we're gonna add some ground turkey, ground turkey. The worst when it gets underneath your fingernails. And then an egg, some minced garlic, which I go through garlic so quickly, I could have got another one of these. Now we're gonna do some onion powder, some paprika, some garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. 
And then also some panko breadcrumbs. I like wearing these little disposable gloves when I touch meat because I do have long fingernails. So let's mix this all together. All right, and here is our mixture. Now I'm just gonna use this little scooper and make meatballs. I'm gonna fill it up maybe like halfway. I want them to be a little bit small. Okay, we have our meatballs. Now we're gonna put these in the oven at 375 for 12 minutes and flip them halfway through. Okay, we're gonna have to put the meatballs on hold for a second. I don't wanna put them in the oven and then have to like get up and take them out or burn them because I'm like in the middle of a conversation. So I have two minutes before I join this meeting. It's about a collaboration with Taco Bell, so I'm super excited for that. Just finished my call, it was a great call, and the meatballs are done now. I ended up throwing them in during the call and forgot about them, and they were in for like 15 minutes instead of 12, but they look good. And now in my mini crock pot, I'm going to make the sauce. So we're gonna do some buffalo sauce, a little apple cider vinegar, some brown sugar, and some salt. And here are the meatballs. They are done. Okay, let's see how they are. Mmm. Wow. That is one good meatball. That is delicious. It's like so soft. Maybe it's the ground turkey. Mmm. Delish. Okay guys, so I placed a little order on Sheen because I'm going on a vacation soon and I feel like Sheen really does have great dresses and cover-ups for little beach vacations. Sometimes the thinner and cheaper stuff is better for things like that. It's always hit and miss with Sheen though. That's why I don't shop on there too often. But I just wanted to get some like simple little small dresses. So let's do a little try on haul. Okay, first we have this long black dress with the cutouts and this purse. I love this purse. This will be perfect for bringing to the beach or the pool just to throw like a few things in here. And the back is cut out a little bit, but this is so pretty. I definitely think I will be taking this one on vacation. It's super comfy. It's not one that I'll have to like keep fidgeting with and like pulling up. And you can't go wrong with an all black dress. Okay, next top is this black top. It's a little shorter than what I would like, but it has Little beads up here at the top, which I thought would be really cute. I would obviously wear this without any necklaces on, but the beads are so beachy. And these jean shorts are actually newer as well. I got these from American Eagle. I think American Eagle is my favorite place to get jeans and shorts from. They're super comfy and stretchy. Okay, next we have this three-piece set black bathing suit with these cover-up pants. I will definitely be bringing this outfit. And for being a sheen bathing suit, this is a nice top. Okay, next we have this cover-up dress, which this is cute. I'm not like too crazy about it, but I feel like this will be cute to like wear inside of the resorts and like going and getting food. I don't know, it's I don't know if I really like this. It like kind of looks like a robe or something and a doily, it looks like a doily. I don't know, it's comfy though but I don't think this is my favorite. Okay, next we have this one. <laughs> I feel like if this part, like if I could sew this a little bit higher, it would look really cute, but I think it's because I'm short that it like just hangs down a little bit to like an awkward length. Oh wait, it looks like you cinch it. Oh, oh, oh. So we can cinch it. Fancy sheen. Oh, oh, this is cute. I like this one definitely. Because when you're at like a resort, you're in a swimsuit all day long and you don't really want to put like jean shorts on if you're like a little bit wet. This is so cute. I like this one a lot. And it's super comfy. It's not tight at all. And the back is really cute with the cutout and then how you can tighten it. This is cute. Yeah, this is like maybe my favorite cover up. And it covers your whole swimsuit pretty much. So you could wear like any color under it, but anything would kind of like match with this, but that is cute. Okay, we have another 
long dress. This one I feel like will be so good for going out to dinner. The back is pretty simple, but this has like the elastic up here. So this definitely feels like it's gonna stay up. It's very comfy though. I like this one. I feel like it kind of like blends in with my skin tone. Okay, then we have this one. I'm not too crazy about this one either. Like the texture of the shirt, I feel like looks like a towel. Yeah, it does look like a towel. It looks like I have a wrapped towel just with like a little gap right here. <laughs> Well guys, my friend is about to be over. She made spinach dip and some chicken wings. And my meatballs are already in the crock pot. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.